I want to show you how to put a cat in a cat box. It can be very difficult at home because they recognise the box is somewhere that's associated with the vet. So you're going to have a little fight, but we should be able to do it in a gentle way if we're careful. I'm going to give you three alternatives. Please remember that at the vet, they're going to behave themselves a bit better and be more timid, so it's going to look easier than it does at home. But still, this should give you an idea. So, first method. Here's what we're going to do. Very simple, I put the cat box up at my level so that I can reach it easily, I don't have to bend down, and I'm going to hold her front legs and put her back legs between my arms like that. Normally I do this much faster so that the cat isn't aware of what I'm doing. And I'm going to torpedo them in really quickly. You may need a helper to hold the box, but I'm going to do it on my own to show you how hard it can be. Here goes, cat torpedo. In we go, straight in, and I'm not, but what I'm doing there is I'm keeping my legs, her legs, inside my arm so she can't put them on the side of the cage. So I'm just torpedoing her straight in. Now a good thing to do here is we have this against the wall if it's by itself. And then you can just go straight in. Now I made that look too easy. Now let's get around. The second way, this cat box is great for this. This is only possible with certain cat boxes. And of course you can see what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to place this on the floor. Now the trick here, any time you put a cat in a cat box, is don't advertise the fact that you've got the cat box out. Get it out without them being aware you've done it and catch them while they're sleeping. And let's say Bonnie's sleeping over here. I'm just going to pick her up and drop her in before she realises what's happened. Do you see I have to be careful about the tail? I don't want the tail to get caught in this. But if she was asleep and I had this nearby and she didn't know the cat box was there, it would have been easy just to pick her up and drop her in. And she wakes up and goes, where am I? And she's in a cat box. All right? Now that's way number two. Now way number three is my last resort. Hopefully Bonnie will stay there for a second. This is what I do if you don't have a top on the box. It's the same idea as what I just told you. This is for most cat boxes. You do the same thing. You sneak this into the room where the cat doesn't know it's there. Grab your sleeping cat and drop them in. Now you've got a problem there. You've got to get those legs through a smaller hole that you can do it. Alright, so there's three ways. I hope one of them works for you.